goodbye to the turbulent year. To most people of Hong Kong, 2012 was no doubt a turbulent year, but it doesn't mean 2013 is going to be easy. Some 130,000 people took to the street on the first day of 2013, asking the chief executive C. Y. Leung to step down and demanding universal suffrage. The demonstrators claimed that the man or the wolf, as dubbed during the chief executive election last March, who has been governing Hong Kong for six months, is a liar and not the person that Hong Kong people shall rely on. He is on the job for six months and he will be delivering his maiden policy address uh, in a fortnight's time. Why don't you give C. Y. Leung a chance? Well, uh, I think he has to go to basic issues. Um, which are the credibility for the people of Hong Kong and honesty issues first. Uh, the policy things we can go into later, but first we have to deal with the more basic issues. You cannot trust somebody who keeps changing the story every time. He keeps apologizing and changing the story, changes the story every week, every time he opens his mouth. This we cannot accept. He must go. He has no choice. He's not chosen by the people. That's the only thing, so. So why why give him a choice? He is not he is chosen by dictators in Beijing. So so he is not chosen by the Hong Kong people. So we have to protest against it. The demonstrators set off from Victoria Park at about a quarter past three this afternoon and arrived at the government headquarters at Tamer just after 1800 hours, where they held a rally there. The demonstration, which was organized by the Civil Human Rights Front, was concluded relatively peaceful. But those who took part in another one organized by the NTCY Learn Alliance wasn't very smooth, as they played Wildcats tactics in Central throughout the day. Six persons were arrested by the police over illegal assembly. <laughs> So that's day one of 2013, but C. Y. Leung remains unable to reframe his troubles in 2012, and there are signs indicating that the troubles made by himself are likely to cost his political career sometime this year. As oh, as true as the sky, and the wolf that shall keep it may prosper, but the wolf that shall break it must die. Now some people in Hong Kong may begin to ask a question. Will the wolf survive at the end? Eric Lowe, INT, Lower Albert Road.